Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I'm back working on Hetty. See you in a minute. I know I've said many times I think that I don't want Hetty to get in the way of other projects. I don't want to be working on that at the expense of getting the garage finished. I don't want to get um, this in to get in the way of bunk beds and things like that. But there is one thing that's bugging me that I want to get sorted because apart from anything else it's, it's a damn nuisance and it's a hazard at the moment and that's this broken screen. I need to try and source a new laminated toughened screen for it but in the meantime I'm going to take off the old screen see if I can get the glass out of it and then it'll remove all these necessity to keep sweeping up shards of glass that are in the way <coughs> so although it's not really um, huge job it's something I just want to see the back of some damage that occurred when we were storing stuff on top and I just keep coming across pieces of glass in everything that I'm working with so I'll just undo it it's fairly straightforward bolted job probably have to get some new bolts because these have rusted a bit so we'll get some stainless steel or similar fixings for it. The rest of it's alloy or chromed alloy. So I'll give the whole thing an overhaul once I get the screen off. Get it down to its component parts and um, see how we get on. So first off I'll just take the whole thing to pieces and make sure we keep all the bits in one place and label them because the garage is full of little bits in boxes that haven't been labelled and I don't know what they are. And I think that's something that although at the moment it looks like, oh yes it's obvious what, what this is in a few years time, I can't remember. <coughs> so that's Hetty screen. One of these boxes. Now this shows you actually how laminated screens in your not necessarily in your car because I think there's different layers in cars but how a laminated screen is made there are two layers of glass that you can sort of see there I think particularly if you pull that piece away two pieces of glass and they're separated by effectively a, a plastic film between the two of them so that if anything hits the screen like it gets broken like this doesn't tend to smash and fire bits at you. Modern car ones have got toughening in them that shatters as well differently. But uh, this is the early safety glass that you had in things. Just cut the plastic away. That's it you can see as I say there's a layer of plastic in there. That literally you can just cut that in half to separate the bits and then there's a piece of glass bonded either side <coughs> now how I get the glass out of this I don't know there is a rubber gasket there I thought it was probably bedded in in a mastic but it looks like it's in a rubber gasket in there I'm not sure how successfully we'll be able to get that out um, if not, I shall just put a layer of black bitumen mastic in there when I come to rebed the glass in. And I think it'll be fine. But uh, it would be nice to get the whole thing out. 
I can't see it somehow coming just like that. I suppose the answer is to break the rest of the glass and that would then leave the rubber easier to come out. Might be worth a try. breaking the glass but it, I think that's probably what I'll have a go at. I'm just going to take it outside and um, <coughs> persuade it to uh, loosen it in the frame a bit. something that's a bit more manageable and then hopefully now the individual pieces will start to come out nicely yeah looks like it's probably only a friction fit in there <coughs> a technique for this but at the moment brute force and ignorance are the order of the day. <coughs> so that's got it all out quite how we get the other glass in I'm not sure but I'm assuming that if it had a bit of uh, lubrication probably a bit of heat I don't think this actually comes out I'm not sure certainly a bit fragile I'll, I'll try pushing it in a new one from the top with a bit of um, lubrication and see it may be that the new screen comes with a set of uh, new rubbers but certainly that's got the old one clean all the bits out of it so we'll put that away until the uh, new screen arrives and we'll go on from there with it right so fast forward a couple of days quite a good service on it and we've got what I hope is the screen back Looks to be the one. I haven't got the slightest idea how to fit it. So I'm going to start off by just seeing how well it goes in there, if you like. Um, no markings on it, so I haven't got to worry about one side or the other. What I suspect is that it won't just push in because it was such a job to get the bits out. It will make a start. What I think I'm going to do is to put some uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly into the groove to help it slide and then the problem will probably be along the bottom edge where if I'm not careful it will catch or something there's a bit of a loop there I've got to make sure it goes down smoothly into the groove without catching the rubber failing which I shall take it out altogether and take the rubber out and just set it in a, a glazing mastic type of thing right I think that's as much as I'm going to need to do so we'll just pop it in gently and see where it goes from there. Of course it'll need to go down square as well. B 
be fair, it's going down quite nicely. Trouble is, if I go too far, I'll get it stuck and then it won't come out. But that's not really going to work, I don't think. So it looks like we'll go to the mastic as the next resort and take the rubber out of this and start again with black fixing mastic. I suppose I could take the rubber out and then attach it to the screen, but I um, don't think that'll work. We'll see. Give it one last try. Hmm. Bit of uh, corrosion in there, just from the aluminium. Some oxidation. That certainly might be an option. it up but it's as easy as I thought quite thought it would give me a worse fight than that but um, it's gone quite well so far trim off the, uh, I'll leave it for a day or two, let the rubber settle back a bit because it might pull itself back in and then I'll just trim the uh, any bits that stick out, trim them back. But that is um, that done, leave it a day or two and then we'll give it all a clean and it'll be ready for putting back on the car. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's, as I mentioned earlier, out of stage, out of step. It's not something I should have been doing really, but it, I just wanted to get rid of all the glass that was floating around in the garage every time I came to do any work in there. So I hope it was of interest. Look forward to seeing you next week. We'll be making something different and I'll see you then. Bye.